hello my friends and congratulations for getting to this section of our course and in this one we're going to build a full stack e-commerce website i'm actually very excited about this project because in this project we're going to implement most of what you see or most of the experience you have when you try to make a purchase on an e-commerce website like amazon or jumia depending on what country you are all right so let's take a quick tour of what we're going to achieve so as you can see the first thing that shows up on the page is this nice slider so it has auto scroll effect but we can also you know slide it by ourselves so it has these buttons here that controls the slide let's scroll down a bit to see some of the other uh, functionalities on the app so you see here we have products that are listed on the app with this product all of these functionalities can be activated so for example i can search a product so if i come here and i click on the search here i can let's say i want to search for phones so if i do phones then it shows me all the phones i have on my products all right um we can sort the product so currently it's been sorted to the latest product on our database but if i click here then i can sort it by the lowest price the highest price alphabetically that's a to z and even z to a so let's just test out the lowest price so if i do that you see here that we now have the lowest price which is 25 dollar product and then the price goes up like that great if you um, come to this left side here for now i'm going to sort it back to the latest product but if you come to this left side here you see that we also have these filters here so category filters if i want to see only the laptops for example if i click on laptops then you see we have only laptops uh, let's try out phones then you see we have only phones so essentially that's one of the things we're going to be achieving in this project we also can you know um, filter by brand so if I click on the brand here you see we have so many brands if I wanted to see only techno products then I can click on techno and you see we have only that you know category uh, brand of product rather let's leave it back to all and then we also have this price filter where if I want to see only you know products that you know get to a certain you know price like let's say 650 665 dollars then i shrink that down and you see here the highest we have is 600 dollars so essentially it's like a price filter now by the time you've added so many filters on your product okay you just want to clear all the filter all you just need to do is click on this button and it's just clear the filter and return it back to the you know normal state so that's one of the things we're going to be able to achieve now we can also set the display of our products in the front end so for example it's displayed in a grid like view right now if i click on this guy here then you see now it's displayed in a list like view so list so now if i come back here and i click on my grid then it will change back to the grid like view so that's an interesting you know perspective to what we can do in our application now if you come down here you see that we also have this pagination so if you have like let's say 50 products you don't want to show 50 products on the page like it's really going to make that page very long you want to break the products down so that's what i've done here so if i click on two then you see we've gone to the next page and like that all right so let's go back to the page now those are the things that we're going to be able to implement in this project but it's an e-commerce website users should be able to log in and make a purchase that's the purpose so i'll click on login here and it takes us to our login page and this is our login page now if you don't have an account you can actually create an account so if i click on register this is our registration page but for now i'll go back to the login page because i already have an account now you can also log in with google that's the interesting thing so if i click on login with google it will open up this google you know box here and if i have a google account that i'm already logged into i can just use that to log into the app and that's all all right but for now i am going to log in with this account that i already have so i'll just click on login and let's see what happens great so you see here login successful and some things have changed so for example now i now have hi zeno trust I've, that's my name my username i have this my orders uh link here and logout link great so now i'll scroll down and let's try to you know order some products after all it's an e-commerce website so we're supposed to be able to have that experience of you know buying stuff so for example here i'm just going to buy let me see i'm going to buy this tv i need a tv right so i'll buy this tv i'll open that tv when you open that any product really you see the product description um you can add the product to cart either from here or from the home page then there's also this product review so for this product there's no review yet so you see here it says there are no review for this product yet great so what i'm going to do is let me add this product to cart but like i said you can also add a product to cart from 
the home page all right so let me add the products here let me just add maybe this laptop so if i click on add to cart then you see here automatically our cart count is increasing at the top so we have two products in our cart in our cart um i was talking about the reviews right so let me look for a, i think this shirt has a review so i'll open this shirt you see here this is the description the sku the brand and stuff but if you come down here you see that there's a review for this product so apparently a customer that bought this product has left a review and we can see that review here great now i'll come back here and let's head out to our cart so i'll go to the cart page and in the cart page you can see that we have the products that we added to the cart I can choose to increase the count so for example let's say this laptop I actually wanted two pieces all I just need to do is click on the plus icon and you can see we have two there's always a notification that tells you when you know something is successful so it says that I've increased the quantity of this product which is nice really um, so but we can also delete a product so if I click on this delete here we can delete the product entirely if you have so many products and you just change your mind that look i don't want to make any purchase again you also you just need to click on this clear cart and it will remove all the products and then i can choose to go back to the shopping where i can then add like a new product okay so let me just add this product back to the cart and head out to my cart that's the product there now for simplicity's sake i'm just going to check out with this single product i'll click on check out and let's see what happens so just like any other e-commerce website you need to enter like your address your shipping address the billing address and stuff like that so i'll just you know enter what's already saved in my browser and then i'll click on proceed to checkout it's going to initialize the checkout for a second and it will load some details and we're going to be using stripe um, test account to check out here so i'll just use my stripe default test card which is 4242424242 like that and i'll just enter an expiration date that is still in the future then i would enter any number for my cvv it just has to be three and then i'll click on pay so fingers crossed let's see if this actually works i'll click on pay and it loading and voila so we get the notification that checkout was successful this is the payment successful notification and then we can choose to view our order status however when our payment was successful our cart was also automatically cleared because it assumes that we are done with that you know purchase now let's go ahead and click on view order status so i'll click on that and you can see here we currently have two orders so the first one has actually been delivered if you look at this order status here you see this last order i placed right it says order placed now let's just try and open the order so we see if there's anything here it shows us the um, product we ordered and then we have this option to leave a review so if I click on review products then you see our review products page so I can you know maybe give it five star after I've actually used the product and then I can choose to leave some text review but I'm not going to do that for now so essentially that's the experience we have when we try to um, you know interact with the front end of the website and make a purchase I don't know if I've talked about the contact us form, but we have a contact us form and this form actually sends an email. So if I fill out my details here and add my message and click on send message, it's going to send the message to the admin of the website. Great. So we're going to implement that also. Now I'm going to humbly log out so that we can see the admin section of the website. So I'll log out here and this is uh it has redirected me to the login page and i'm going to try and log in with the admin account so i'll log in with google and i'm just going to log in with you know an admin account for this particular project so that you see the difference so voila successfully logged into the website the difference here is that we now have this admin button here so i'm going to click on the admin so that we can see what's going on what what's going on here okay so we have an admin dashboard that we're going to build into this website from scratch so you see here we have some details about our store so this is the earning this is the number of products we have and the number of orders that we've currently you know received on the website. now this admin back end is actually meant to help us manage the products or manage the e-commerce website so if you look at the next of, uh, link here you see view products and if I click on that you see this is all the products we have all these products was actually added by the admin which is myself okay so we have the functionality to search for products okay so i can search for the phone just like we had in the front end we also have a pagination feature here 
all right now let's try and edit this product so currently we have this uh, Lenovo product which is the last product I'm gonna try to edit this product I would click on edit and it's currently 1200 I'm gonna change it to 1500 and let's come down here and click on edit and let's see if it works voila so you see here we have 1500 and if you go to the front end of the website which is what the user would see then you see that it has also been updated to 1500 so everything works I'll come back here to my admin dashboard and let's see the add products with this add product we have a form where we can add any amount of products we want and it's going to be stored in our database all right then lastly we have the order section so if i click on view orders it's going to show me all of the orders that has been placed by different users on the website okay so for example this is the last order that was placed which is a hp laptop you know that was placed just now we placed on the front end by another user so this is the uh, shipping address of the user in case we want to ship the you know uh, product to the user now whatever it is we do on you know about this order that was placed we can update the order status so for example you can update the status to maybe processing for example if or maybe shipped if you've shipped the products so I'll just click on update status and you can see the very product has changed to shipped but let's just say I've delivered that product. I'll just come here. I'll click on, uh, I'll set it to delivered and I'll click on update status. And you see here, it's now delivered. And when it's delivered, the color turns to green. So essentially, that's how we are going to be able to build uh, an e-commerce website. We're going to build the front end. We're going to build the back end. And we're going to now tie all of this together and see how we can host that website on a platform and have users make payment on it. Thank you so much. And let's get into the project.